Welcome back underwater everybody. This is Jake from Jake's Offshore Adventures and thanks again for tuning in for another episode. We are actually out with my friend Clay Cowart from Life by the Bow to film an episode on his channel. I really wasn't going to make a video of today but I ended up shooting a couple Wahoo and I got some really awesome footage on drone that I've always wanted to get and I know not a lot of people have is a full start to finish shooting a wahoo on a drone um, gets the buoy taken off and everything super awesome i want to thank clay for giving me that footage to help make this video and he actually made an amazing video of this day so please go to his channel and check that out i will link it in the description so it doesn't take too long for our first wahoo to show up they were acting real happy I actually did a dive on them, but didn't really like my shot um, and what they were presenting to me. So I decided to come up, throw my throw flasher, and try to get another one interested uh, and give me a better shot. Mm -hmm. This video, I'm not really going to do a lot of talking. I am going to leave the footage a little raw, just because my buddy Clay does a great voiceover of today's footage. So definitely, like I said, go check that out. Um, but basically, here's the first fish I shot for this day and uh, you guys will see the rest. Again, there'll be some footage of a drone later in the video, which is just super epic. So definitely don't want to miss this one, guys. That's what it's all about, buddy. I took the shot I would. Dude, there are some big ones in there. I know, but I, I almost took a shot at the big one, but I waited. And I waited when they're schooled up like that. You know you're gonna get a second opportunity if your first one's not that good. Did you see that before I called you? <laughs> I saw awesome. you chasing out there. Well, like... I took a shot. It hit him. Shaft pulled out, though. So they came, they came, I saw you chasing them. Yeah. And then I turned around over to my right, and there was just, Three of them swimming straight at me. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Got one, baby. That's what it's all about. Not the biggest one in the school, but we got them. Hey. We got Sashimi, baby. <laughs> Pretty cool when a plan comes together, guys. Me and Clay have been planning this for a long time to come out and do this on his channel. So don't forget to go check that out on Life by the Bow. I'll make sure to link it in the description. But just like he said, it's really cool to be able to swim with these fish in your backyard. And he spent thousands and thousands of dollars and gone thousands of miles to even find these fish. So the fact that we did this in our backyard is quite amazing. Uh, awesome, Clay. I'm How about glad. that, Jamie? Clay, who are 
right here. Good. So this wahoo came up behind me and Clay was a ways away from me and I decided to take the dive on the fish to try to get a shot into it and I missed. So this just goes to show you I do miss sometimes and sometimes YouTube is more like a highlight reel but today I wanted to kind of show you guys that um, these fish are really elusive and it's really hard to gauge how far away these fish are sometimes by their size. And right here this fish sticks around and almost gives Clay a, a really good shot, but unfortunately it didn't really like what he was selling. So this is a really good example of why you need to be patient and don't take shots that you don't think that you have because all that commotion brought in some more fish while I was trying to reload and gave Clay another opportunity to shoot a wahoo. So unfortunately Clay missed that shot. I think he shot from the surface of the water and the fish were kind of just a little too far away. They really weren't giving us the time of day. But I got my gun reloaded and I kept following these fish to see if I could get one to turn around. So I'm not really chasing the wahoo right here. I'm kind of just swimming with them. I had a few here on my left side and I had a few on my right that the camera does not pick up. So I'm kind of just swimming with these wahoo. I'm not chasing them. And sometimes when you're swimming with them and they're swimming slow, a couple of them will break off from the actual pack and get curious enough to come up and check out what you are giving you a shot. And that's actually what happens here. I cut out about five minutes of following these fish, but after about five minutes of following them, two of them decided they were curious to what I was and turned around to come check me out.